Good afternoon students. Ang topic natin this afternoon is about rational exponent. So define muna natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng rational. Okay? So pag sinabi natin rational, again, these are expressions that can be written in the form of a over b. So sa madaling sabi, lahat ng expressions na can be transformed into fraction. Okay? So ibig sabihin niyan, uh, this rational exponent pwede rin natin siyang tawaging fractional exponent. Okay? So, anong, um, to give you an examples, we have uh, 25 raised to 1 half, 64 raised to 1 third, and quantity raised to negative, uh, quantity negative 8 raised to 1 third. Now, um, these expressions can be simplified. So, simulan natin dito sa 25 raised to 1 half. Okay, um, to simplify this 25 raised to 1 half, simply lang, ang gagawin natin is we know, alam natin that this 25, this one, can be, uh, um, can be transformed into uh, this exponential form as 5 raised to 2, right? So, 5 raised to 2 is equivalent to 25. Saka ko ngayon ipapasok yung 1 half. And applying the laws of exponent, na, so we multiply the expression or the exponents 2 by 1 half. Okay? So, ang mangyayari niyan will be 5 raised uh, 2. 2 times 1 is 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1. So, therefore, the value will be equivalent to 5. Okay? Ganun lang ka simple. Ulit. 25 raised to 1 half, si 25, pwede nating uh, i-transform into exponential form, which is 5 raised to 2. 5 raised to 2 is equivalent to 25. And then we copy 1 half. Then we multiply the uh, exponents. 2 times 1 is 2. Copy 2. 2 over 2 is 1. So 5 raised to 1 is equivalent to 5. Okay? Question? Okay, next. Another. 64 raised to 1 third. So, alam natin, uh, if we are going to transform this uh, 64 into exponential form, this will be 4 raised to 3. Paano naging 4 raised to 3? 4 times 4 is 16. Times 4 is 64. And then we copy 1 third. And again, we multiply the, uh, multiply natin yung exponents. So, 3 times 1 is 3. And then, we copy the denominator 3. 3 over 3 is 1. And 4 raised to 1 is 4. This is now your final answer. Again, si 64, ang exponential form niya is 4 raised to 3. Bakit naging 4 raised to 3? 4 times 4, 16. Times 4, 64. Ayun yung 64. And then, we copy 1 third, 1 third, and then we multiply the uh, 3 times 1 is 3, copy 3. 3 over 3 is 1, so 4 raised to 1 is 4. Okay? So, another, the negative 8 raised to 1 third. Now, uh, may problema tayo dyan. Negative yan, 1 third dyan. So, ibig sabihin, um, gawin natin to into in, uh, exponential form that is 2 raised to 3 okay kaso negative yung original form nya so I'll be putting negative there bakit? negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 okay times negative 2 negative 8 ulitin ko negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 and then copy one third and then again we multiply three times one you have three and then copy three again as the denominator three over three is one so negative two raised to one negative two raised to one final answer is negative two okay question another example let's say 49 raised to one half and this is very common number this is 7 raised to 2 and then we copy 1 half again 
Multiply na naman natin. 2 times 1, you have 2. Copy 2. May 7 tayo dyan as the base. 2 over 2 is 1. So, 7 raised to 1. 7 raised to 1 is 7. This is now our final answer. Now, do naman sa number 5. 125 raised to 1 third. Actually, the 125 in exponential form, that is 5 raised to 3. So, 5 times 5, 25. Times 5, 125. 25 and then we copy again one third we multiply again three times one is three copy three as the denominator three over three is one so five raised to one is five and this is now your final and simplified answer okay now this time subuan natin uh, to perform the indicated operations given this expressions okay so m raised to two thirds times m raised to 4 thirds. We all know kapag ganito yung expression natin, having same base, minimultiply natin, we just copy the base, and then we add the exponents. So, 2 thirds plus 4 thirds. So, this will be, again, parehas yung denominator sa dalawang yan. We just copy the denominator. We add the numerator. 2 plus 4, you have, okay, 6. And 6 over 3 is 2. So, therefore, the final answer will be m square. Ulit, pag parehas ang base na minumultiply, we copy the base, and then we add the exponents. 2 thirds plus 4 thirds. Copy, uh, copy the denominator. Copy yung denominator. You have 3. 2 plus 4, you have 6. 6 over 3 is 2. So, m raised to 2 is the final answer. Okay, next, for number 2 naman, we have here, same basis na naman, and then we've got uh, exponential form, uh, we've got uh, rational exponent there, so k, copy k, and then we add the exponents, 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. Now, magkaiba tayo ngayon ng um, denominator, so we get the LCD of that, ang LCD niya is, what? 12. We simply multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. Or, isip tayo ng number na pwedeng i-divide by 4 at pwede rin i-divide by 3. But, it is better It is better na mas yung pinakamalist ang kukunin natin. Kaya siya tinawag na LCD, list common denominator. Okay? So, 12 divide by 4 is 3 times 1, you have 3. 12 divide by 3 is 4 times 2 is 8 plus yen. Okay? So, this will be then k equals to 3 plus 8. You have 11 over 12. And this is now your final answer. So, ulitin ko. Same basis. Copy base. Add the exponents. 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. Magkaiba yung denominator. We multiply 4 times 3 to get the LCD. You have got 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 1. 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2, 8. And then we add 3 plus 8, 11. Copy 12. So, K raised to 11 over 12 is your final answer. And for this, alam natin, uh, while, well, while dividing uh, same basis, we just simply subtract the exponents. We copy the base, A. 5 over 7 minus 2 over 7. So, simply lang ito. A is equal to, copy again the, uh, the denominator kasi parehas lang sila ng denominator. So, 5 minus 2, you have 3. And 3 over 7. A raised to 3 over 7 is now your final answer. Okay? Last. Now, you have R12, S raised to 9 quantity raised to one third. So, simply lang, again, we just simply distribute the outside exponent to the inside exponents. So, mangyayari niyan, R raised to 12 times one third, S raised to 9 times one third. So, this will be equivalent to R raised to 12 times 1, you have 12 over 3, S 9 times 1, you have 9 over 3. And 12 over 3 is 4. 
9 over 3 is 3. And this is now your final answer. And that's it.